In this example, we will explore the a parameter. Graph each function over the domain 0 is less than or equal to theta, which is less than 2 pi. The base graph is provided as a convenience. In part a, we'll draw the graph of y equals 3 sine theta. The number 3 in front of sine theta indicates that the amplitude of the graph is 3 units. It can also be thought of as a vertical stretch applied to the graph of y equals sine theta. Let's bring up the graph of y equals sine theta. Stretch the graph vertically by a scale factor of 3 to get y equals 3 sine theta. In part b, draw the graph of y equals negative 2 cos theta. Let's bring up the graph of y equals cos theta. Stretch the graph vertically by a scale factor of 2. This is the intermediate graph, y equals 2 cos theta. The negative tells us to reflect the graph across the x-axis. This is the final graph, y equals negative 2 cos theta. In part c, draw the graph of y equals negative 1 half sine theta. Let's bring up the graph of y equals sine theta. Stretch the graph vertically by a scale factor of 1 half. This is the intermediate graph, y equals 1 half sine theta. The negative tells us to reflect the graph across the x-axis. This is a final graph, y equals negative 1 half sine theta. In part d, Draw the graph of y equals 5 over 2 cos theta. Let's bring up the graph of y equals cos theta. Stretch the graph vertically by a scale factor of 5 over 2 to get the graph of y equals 5 over 2 cos theta.